becoming a relic of the past? Jake Peterson gets a read on the latest endangered species around town. It might read like a tragedy, with big box stores trimming back or closing altogether. What's to become of the local book nooks? It's nice to know a few good brick and mortars endure. At Tiny Inkwood Books in South Tampa, you'll always find cookies around and a hand-picked selection of good reads. We love nothing more than to put the right book in your hands. Um, we all read like crazy, so we know the store really well. Inkwood's been here 21 years. They've outplayed even some of the big boys. But don't forget about the granddaddy of bookstores, Haslam's in St. Petersburg. Haslam's is a fourth generation family owned bookstore. They've been around for 80 years. Haslam's has rare and valuable books and a colorful history, including some famous authors of the past. Beatnik writer Jack Kerouac used to hang out here in his golden years. Authors like to have their things at eye level, so Kerouac would come in and move his books from the low shelf to the upper shelves where they were easily seen and accessible to uh, his possible readers. Legend has it Kerouac's ghost could still be hanging around Haslam's, maybe cavorting with the store's greeter Teacup, and surely seeing to it his books get a good spot on the shelves. It is true that a good book is made better by a good cookie, and the Girl Scouts have got you covered. Tomorrow is National Girl Scout Cookie Day, and as long as you're asking, they have some recommendations. Our Savannah smiles we got on our 100th year of Girl Scouting, and I think those are really good. And I also think that Samoas are really good too. Five things the Scouts are learning by selling cookies, money management, business ethics, goal setting, decision making skills, and people skills. The cookie booths will be set up on the 22nd. Download the free Girl Scout cookie locator to find your closest cookie fix. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.